YouTube. YouTube. You. Tube, what's up? It's your boy 360 Jeezy. I'm here with my man Justin right here. Day one, A1, day one. For almost, want to say, first client, all right? So I'm gonna show up a clip of what I used to, how I used to have his haircut. His haircut was kind of like, it was kind of cool. It was kind of cool. So we're back. So we're back. You guys, listen, you guys, listen, it's a funny story. So I'm editing this video and I realized that. So before we even started this video, right, Justin was basically telling me like, look, you should go back on that old video where, you know, you did my hair. And you could just kind of tell he was like, you know, mm, I had those big old earrings in my ear. And just, mm, you know what I mean? So just to see him making this face right here, it just had complained to me. I'm like, dang. I was like, you know, it's all right. It was kind of cool. It was all right. He was like, no. <laughs> I just wanted to share that with you guys. Okay, so we're back. First of all, Justin here works at Velocity Cuts. Justin, you want to say anything? Hold on. Wait a minute. Justin, talk to him. Hey, so this guy right here, he taught me how to cut hair, and I'm trying to do the same thing with all the barbers, but trying to teach everyone how to make this a career, and check that out on my Instagram, uh. at Barbarota. Mm. You know, Jared already got the hand there mm. for you. You already yeah. know. You already all know what it is. barbers that are uh, in, in school and out in the shop already, check out my Instagram. I'm throwing out them gems. Uh, listen, it's going down. It's going down. Mm. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Alright you guys, to start off this haircut, uh, Justin aka Barbara Oda told me to do a 6 on top, so I'm going with the 6 closed, going against the grain, uh, making sure that I go over it multiple times just to get it to that even length on top. So to start this fade off, I'm gonna be using my wall cordless detailers and I'm gonna set in my ball line. Now, when it comes to this fade, it's kind of different because it's like a mid to low fade. Like at the end of it, you're gonna see that it's a mid fade, but I'm kind of dropping it back um, around the occipital bone, uh, which is kind of the hook in the back. That's gonna allow me to give a nice shape to his head instead of bringing it all the way up and just ruining the whole shape of the haircut. Now I'm just gonna bald out using my Andes Supra ZR2s, just clearing out that bulk at the bottom. Using my Babyliss Gold Shavers, I'm going to shave down the bottom, leaving about a half inch at the top, not going all the way up to that line. This way, it really prevents you from having to struggle to take out that bottom line. So right now, I'm going back with my liners just kind of smoothing out that bottom half, uh, even going up just a tad bit, just to smoothen things out. Mm -hmm. 
using my Babyliss Gold FX with the lever open, I'm going up about a half inch um, and I'm really putting that guideline in, making sure I go over it multiple times and just keeping it consistent all the way around. Same thing with the one guard open, I'm going up, but this time I'm going up about a half inch, but I'm going up in that upward motion and I'm not really digging in. I'm making sure I'm rolling off of the hair uh, with the heel of the blade and just kind of just going upward. I'm not really digging in. So after the one guard open, I go right in with the clipper over comb. Now, what you wanna do is set your comb at a 45 degree angle and try as much as possible to match it up with that one guard open at the bottom, right? You wanna get the shape to look like a high top as much as possible. That's the uh, look that you're going for. Make sure you look from side to side when you're, uh, you know, clipper over combing. Um, make sure you get those angles right. It's always good to stop, look to the side, come back, do some more clipper over comb, stop, look from the side, and do some more, and just, just keep repeating that. Putting on the two guard open, um, I'm just going up cleaning up some of that bulk at the top. So with the one guard open, same thing, I'm just taking baby steps going right back down, cleaning up any area that I missed with the one guard open. Like I mentioned, baby steps. I got the zero guard open. Usually I'll just go right in with the zero guard closed and flick out that bottom line, but I decided to say, you know what, let's just take it slow. I'm basically just smoothing out this line, know th knowing that I'm not going to be able to take it out until I close it fully. Now closing the lever on the zero guard, um, I'm just flicking out that middle line, which is gonna make it really easy and effortless uh, to get that line out now that, that we, uh, you know, softened it up. With the lever closed in a flick out motion, flick out that bottom line.
Now in some cases the Babyliss Gold FX, even if you have the lever closed, sometimes it just does not get out that bottom line. So I'm using my wall cordless seniors with the lever closed. Um, these zero gap real nice. And um, you know, this just gets out the bottom line where, you know, just some textures, uh, the gold, uh, FX just doesn't do it so I'm just gonna finish cleaning everything up uh, with the wall cordless seniors. you like it make sure you give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel please hit that subscribe button also if you like the beat make sure you check out the links in the description below hustle dreams production that's my brother he makes all my beats if you want to know where you can find any tools that you've seen in this video check out the links in the description below as well otherwise you guys can follow me on instagram and snapchat my snapchat is jeezy360 and my instagram is 360 jeezy but it's your boy 360 Jeezy, and I'm out of here.